What's up people? JP here again, doing an update of this 10 gallon reef tank. Now this tank is going on about 11 months now. Everything's doing good. I did made a few modification, added a few things and remove a few things. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is my do-it-yourself light diffuser. Now this is just tracing paper, but you could probably also use wax paper. And I just taped it in. This is just temporary. I'm just, uh, I just added this today. So I'm just gonna experiment on this a few weeks and see how it goes. It definitely made some improvement. It's not as uh, spot on in the middle. It's a little bit diffused, especially on the sides. And it doesn't have that disco ball effect that, that it was kinda really bad. Alright, the next thing is, I did add my Jebao PP4. It is just doing awesome on this 10 gallon. The next thing I modified is this auto top off. Now, before it was leaking too much air. Now, I just replaced this from my previous video about this auto top off and added this bubble checker and this valve. Now, this two are just extra. You don't need this to have a auto top off in this design. I just have this on hand from my planted tank back in the past that I have a do-it-yourself CO2 reactor. Alright, the next on the other side is I'm reverted back to my CFL bulb. Now what I noticed was the LED was just too focused down so it was just killing the Chetomorpha and just growing brown slime algae. So Right here, this is my past light for my refugium. It was just too focused. Now, now I'm just using a Philips CFL bulb. This is about 6,500K, 13 watts. I found is that this color grows the Chetomorpha really best, the best, instead of the 3K. Now, as you can see right here, I am not running a skimmer right now. You can see the hole. Because what I'm doing is, I'm doing a little experimentation. Right here you can see, this was my protein skimmer. This is like my third or fourth version. This bottle is the ta Datu Puti vinegar. You can just find this at the Asian market or Asian stores. And I like this because it got a very long body and a very long neck. Now this is just the same size as the Coke ball, except it's just a little bit more protein skimmy. Now, in the, beside it, I also made a clone from the MAME skimmer. Now, this is just a 1-inch tubing. This tube you can find at any local pet store. This is just like an under gravel, under gravel tubing. And I added an O-ring I bought from Home Depot. I also cut a little piece of acrylic, glued it, and then drilled for my inlet and outlet. Now if you have a uh, acrylic laying around you can just cut it, bend it with heat or and drill it. Now this just basically is a bracket that will slide underneath and goes to the o-ring just like the main protein skimmer. Now this hangs on my uh, filter. Now I did order just today for my skimmer, the air stone or the wooden air stone, what you need is the one half inch. Because if you need the, if you got the three fourths, it will not fit. So that's one thing. So I'm waiting on that for next week. I'm gonna experiment this for a couple of weeks and see what's the results. Also, for this uh, tracing paper, I might also modify it to just sandwich it between acrylic sheet so it can be more permanent instead of becoming what splattered with salt because the wave maker is really pretty good and you don't want to get the paper sog soggy. So that's it for this update guys. I hope you like the little invention I made and thanks for watching. Happy reefing guys.